What up, guys? This is Casey is Raw again. This is part 7 of consoles, games, and stories from my past. This is the Super Nintendo. This is actually my childhood Super Nintendo. I personally bought this with my own money when I was a child. Saved my money up to get it when it was $200. But uh, I got it real later in its lifetime because uh, I was playing a bunch more Sega Genesis at the time. So uh, I was seeing, you know, a bunch of games coming up for the Super Nintendo and I knew I had to get it. What was funny, uh, one time I from church, there was a family that I borrowed Mario Paint and it took me forever to return it. I don't know why I loved that game so much back in the day, but I did. I used to play a bunch of Mario Kart with me, my brother, and our friends. We would have like parties playing Mario Kart. So let's move on to the games and accessories and stuff like that. Alright, these are my loose Super Nintendo. Um, this is actually a fake a reproduction. I think it's Hagen. Uh, I believe this was a uh, Blockbuster exclusive, but good way to know it's a fake is one, if you see the screws are plastic, they're supposed to be metal. And here's a big one where that circle is says Nintendo. And on the label it should have some imprint with a number. So this is completely fake. And if let's say all that has it and you're not hundred percent sure, you gotta get a bit security bit driver to open your Nintendo, your Super Nintendo, your Genesis, your sixty four games. Got to do it, especially with these high price games. Because, it, let's say it had all that, and um, you open up, and if it has a bunch of wires and it looks wrong, then it's fake. Um, weird game called uh, Warchus. It's just kind of weird. It's an R freaking name. It's a game for Tetris. I, like I said before, I love my Power Rangers. There's Urban Strike. Like I said before, I love my Urban Strikes. Uh, Clay Fighters is a great game. That, but that's Clay Fighter 2. Zool's okay. Mario Missing is horrible. Yeah. Ultraman right there, you can't really see. Clay Fighter, Simpsons, Bart Night, Bart's Nightmare, it's, yeah, it's okay. Paperboy 2, not as great as the first one. That's, I believe it's, oh, uh, this is a Super R type, good game. Home Alone's awful. Uh, like I said before, one of my favorite games is Super Baseball 2020, Street Fighter 2. Super Star Wars, Super Smash TV, great. Like I was telling you before, here's Super Mario Kart. I This is probably my childhood one. Killer Instinct's great. Chuck Rock's alright. Baby's Kids, this right here is actually pretty rare. So when I recently found saw it, I was like, oh, I'll get that for that price. Then you got Super Off-Roads. I love that game in the arcade, so I needed to get it, but I don't like the Baja one. I hear from crazy about shit about the lawnmower, man. Race driving is just like the one on the Genesis. It's a Call, it's a driving simulator. Mortal Kombat 3. Earth Warm Gym 2. It's good. Uh, Wayne's World is horrible. Terminate Fighters. I believe that's 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Tournament Fighters. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. I still prefer NBA Jam on the Sega Genesis, the original. X-Men the Mutant Apocalypse, alright. Beavis and Butthead's good. F-Zero's good. Lethal Enforcer is good as well. When I move up, uh, I would say in the last year or so, I picked up the box Mario Paint. It has the pad, the game, and the mouse. So that's a hell of a deal. And then I got this uh, Super Nintendo uh, case that has a bunch of Super Nintendo games in there as well. So give me a moment. These are pretty much my rare or more high priced games or more popular games. Like, you got Wolfenstein 3D for the Super Nintendo. They heavily censored that one. You got Love Zombie Ate My Neighbors. Doom is okay. Smash. This is Super Mario RPG. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4. This is Super Mario All-Stars Plus with the Super Mario World. Then they got Mega Man X. Then plain Super Mario All-Stars. You got Castlevania 4. That's a good game as well. Uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts is great. Uh, Mario Early Years Preschool Fun is horrible. Super Punch-Out's great. Home Improvement is kind of a little rare and pricey. Oh, this world's okay. Sunset Riders, I enjoy this. Uh, this is actually another reprotection. Someone took Super Mario World and uh, hacked the game and make it a different... It's like a set... This almost like a sequel to the game. Then we got... Secret of Mana. Superman, this is a good version. Mario Early Years Fun with Letters. Yeah, horrible. Super Double Dragon. And this is another reproduction. Is Mega Man and Base. I hadn't played that. I really need to try it. And then here's another Mario, a couple more shitty Mario games. Mario Early Years and Fun with Numbers. Mario Time Machine's horrible. And you, you, you gotta have Legend of Zelda, Zelda Link to the Past. What's cool about the Super Nintendo, uh, if you go inside the... Or the cartridge slot, there's two slots that prevents for you to play the Super Nin uh, Super Famicom games from Japan. Like right here, and usually a lot of these are pretty cheap. Like this is Street Fighter 2. Um, Final Fantasy 6. Like this is Final Fantasy 3 in America for 6 bucks, you see? America. Then you got Super Mario Kart for 13 This is probably the most pricey one is Super Metroid for 25 bucks. Here's a Kirby game. I believe this is the Kirby Collection game. And here's Super Mario RPG for 8 bucks. And then I believe this is a uh, Secret of Mana. And then this is the Super Nintendo, uh, the Famicom version of, obviously, it's Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Before I move to the box games, I figured I'd show you the Super Nintendo box that I got. I got this in the last few months. I picked it up. I think I got a good deal. Maybe just like a 120. But I turn around. I combined the good Super Nintendo. I kept all the good parts. Like the bet. I kept my 
childhood one. I like to try to keep my childhood stuff. So, uh, but I sold it, so I got some money back. So, I love these boxes. And you know what? I did not talk about the Super the Nintendo Mini. Like, I got the Nintendo Mini, and the NES version, and the Super Nintendo version. This one actually came with Star Fox 2. Never released, like it said. Well, it got leaked out on the internet, but uh, this is the official way you can play it. So, that's a great plus about that. Now, I'm at the Super Nintendo box games I got. Uh, I got Super Adventure Island 1, 2. 2 is real hard to, f to find. Excuse me. Super Street Fighter 2. Star Fox in this box. Mortal Kombat 2. Contra 3. Donkey Kong Country 3. Yo Super Mario World 2. Yoshi's Island. I recently started to love that. That's on the... I highly suggest to play it if, if you have the Switch. It's on Nintendo subscription. Tetris 2 is horrible. Mortal Kombat. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. I actually believe I have all three Donkey Kong Countries in their boxes. You got NBA Jam. Original. Troll, Troll Island. Secret of Evermore. Space Ace. Sim City is good. That's uh, right behind... That character is Super Mario World in its box. There's Super... Uh, there's Donkey Kong Country, like I figured. There's Sim Earth in its box. And then, it's just got a bunch of commons in their box, so... Uh... I like getting boxes for my games. So, uh... There's a couple extra things, uh... First is the Sega Genie. I mean, not Sega Genie. The Game Genie. Ugh. For the Super Nintendo. Uh, I hear, don't hold it to me, that you can plug the Famicom games. Super Famicom games in here. And I'll act like a converter. So, you can try that. I'm not, I'm not going to promise you that. Uh, this is the Super Nintendo cleaning uh, kit. They work pretty freaking good doing that. I believe this one, you you put this into the system to clean out the pins. And then, if you want to play your Game Boy games, you can play on Super Nintendo. You can use the Super Game Boy. And I believe that is it. Yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.